Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I thought we would have a little bit of a play with some vellum and make some nice vellum pockets. So I have already had a go and made this one here, which is a kind of vintagey look and they're great for just popping in some, uh, some bits and bobs. Um, I've put some plain labels in just now just to show you so they could be used for happy mail or you could also just um, clip them on to let me just get this journal this is my uh, US Scotland collaboration with Barbie over at Nelly and Ruth Designs this is the journal I'm working on at the moment and I thought it might be nice to make a couple of vellum pockets and they can either be um, clipped on or stuck on or you could get a bit of washi and make a flip um, and I just thought that they were pretty nice given this journal is going to go back and forward and then it means that um, she can maybe use some of the bits in her own journal or whatever and I just thought it was quite a nice idea to use up the packet of vellum I've actually got two or three packets of vellum um, kicking about. So really wanted to use some of it up. So they come in sheets and it's, let's see, it's just over 11 and a half inches by just under eight and a half inches. So I'm guessing in centimetres it'll be more even. Yeah, 30 centimetres by... 21 centimeters so I am just going to half it so 21 will be 10 and a half centimeters down the middle so just at 10 and a half there and that will give us two pockets which is good because I've got bits and bobs picked out for two. Let me just move that one piece out the way. So it's just a, it, it's not any great measurements. I've just been kind of um, eyeballing it to, to these measurements. Um, I think this one that I did is maybe slightly smaller than that one it just depends on where you put where you put the folds so the first fold you're going to make is um, up let's see let's try and make it similar so that I can tell you roughly where you're going to fold so you're going to fold let's get the ruler again And that top bit is going to be nearly five inches, which is 12 centimetres. So I'm going to fold up like that, leaving a chunk at the top. And then we're going to fold it back down on itself, about there. And then to create a second pocket, we just fold it up so that that fold is the same as the the back piece there. So all the way up, then about halfway down, and then that bit up again. I can't think how else I can explain that, but it's easy. Just play around with it till you get the the sizes that you want. So that gives you your double pocket pocket there and a pocket there or you could attach it to your journal on the three sides and you would have a large pocket at the top as well so yeah right so I've got my two pieces again there's this one down here slightly different sizes that doesn't bother me at all it's um it's just wherever you want to fold it so you're going all the way up back down and back up again yeah Okay, so I have picked out, because I did the first one in a kind of uh, vintage style, 
I wanted to make the next one totally different. So I've picked out some black and white items. Whoops. I've got some black and white washi. I've got my roll of black and white tissue paper, which is Tim Holtz. I've got a little number five. I've got this vellum piece of ephemera. And I have these rub-ons. So let's see how the black and white might go. Right, we'll just use this loose bit. And we'll just play around with decorating. I stitched, I machine stitched to hold the pockets closed around the edges. Um, if you don't have a sewing machine, I would just wash it tape around the edges or you can just put a fine bit of glue and then wash it tape to cover up the glue because glue might show through on the vellum. So if you don't have a machine, um, a little bit of washi down the side and folded over will hold. Right, let's get to decorating. And also you don't want to cover up too much of the of the the vellum because you want to see that it's a nice vellum pocket. You don't want to cover it. Well, I don't think covering it totally kind of defeats the purpose of it being vellum. Um, I think anyway. So let's think what we might do. Put that bit of tissue. I think I like the tissue on the front. And then we might do some. Right, so let's just start sticking things down because I could probably play around forever. <laughs> I've just got my glue stick. Good, good. Put that on there. So it's an absolutely glorious day here today. We were out this morning, but decided it's really too warm for the dog to be out in the afternoon so we decided we were out all day yesterday and it was a nice day yesterday but today is really really nice and um, yeah I think I'll have this I think I'll have this this is proper black. Just a little bit. Just something. Maybe. Nope, I'm not liking half butterflies. 
let's try whole butterflies. I've still got the rub ones. looks like somebody's taken a bite out of it. That's better. That was too, <laughs> too bite shaped. Right, let's see. Um, little word. Little word for maybe over there. Or a bit of something. Fragile glass. Will we do that? Because that's about the right size. A bit of a rub with the lolly stick that comes with it. It's not sticking to the washi tape. I wonder if the rest is sticking to the vellum. Not really. Whoops. Hmm. Getting there. Oh, I got the most of it. Maybe if I could just get the star of the yeah. And we can just see that the word, the rest of the word is in behind there. It's made it a little bit grungy. I'm not sure that I want like that five there. Let's put that there. I wonder if I should have a go at another, another rub on that didn't really work so well. Or just leave that like that. I think that's enough on it. What else have I got that's black and white? Some of this. Number one as well. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I like the numbers better.
I think they are actually. Let's stick the five down first. with that and we'll stitch around that I'll go and stitch around that now so that's it stitched round it's a little bit of a bumful there but that's okay <laughs> I don't mind a bumful um, so I've got my two pockets I still think it needs something else so I've gotten out my new stamp set and I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping I think maybe maybe here and maybe there just a little bit of something um, and there's so many to choose from this is eccentric CMS 448 stampers anonymous and um, Um, too many things. Here's a nice long straight one. Oops, for under the butterflies. So because I am stamping on vellum, I dug out my stays on. It's not something that I use a lot. In fact, hardly ever. But vellum is non-porous and so the ink just sits on the top of vellum which means you have to use this solvent ink or it will smudge anything else will smudge is that going to stick there Because vellum, uh, the stays on really sticky, it sticks. Yeah, that's good. Right, maybe something else for up this top corner. So, something maybe round or squarish. Round. Here's a, here's a round one. Just do off this off the side a little. There we are. And so because it stays on, it won't smudge. And because it stays on, you are supposed to then clean your stamp with special cleaner. But I don't. <laughs> it will be fine. Yeah. So let's see what they look like with the labels in, just to, just to try it. Yeah, it looks cool with the labels in. I'm liking this one. Just clip it on there, that would be perfect. I'll put this one and this one. Okay, let's do one more. And I have my pocket folded. I have a piece of old wallpaper. And a sticker and a little fabric 
stamped. This is um, linen that's been stamped. I actually stamped it so that it would go on the cover there, but this one didn't work so well. Um, it's lopsided, but I've cut it down and I'm thinking it will fit on here nicely. I've got some washi. I've got a die cut clock and I have a bird from my second-hand bird book. So quite an eclectic mix this time. So I've had a vintage, I've got monochrome, black and white, and I've got a nice <laughs> eclectic mix here of, uh, of things. It's 12. This is a Tim Holtz die. Um, I think it's called vintage clock, broken clock, something like that. I'm thinking this along. Something like that, maybe with a bit of washi in that middle bit. What do you think? Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's get this front bit done first. So I'm just going to clear that there. And get this stuck down. So yes, we were in Helensboro yesterday, out for the day, and um, that means I get to the gorgeous little fabric shop in Helensboro, and I bought some nice fabric. I'm going to put that over the edge slightly so that my stitching just a wee dab just to keep it in place just now but if I put it slightly over the edge it means it will catch and get stitched on I don't mind if it's a little bit loose yes oh so much lovely fabric oh my goodness spoiled but I got some nice bits Where do I want to put this washi sticker so that the bird is sitting about there? Just try and get... There we are. Get that peeled off. About there. Then I'm going to stick this on and then trim it where it's too big. In fact, we could just trim it just now. No, let me think. Do I want the whole? No, I'm going to cut it off. There and there. Then I'm going to glue it down first now before I trim any more off <laughs> or it will probably not fit. If I take too much off. I 
want my 12 at the top. There we are. Now it's easy just to cut that off. a nice mix I think on this one a proper junky one with the old wallpaper and the bird from my second hand book and this is a, a proper kind of junky one yeah now a bit of washi Perfect. Now stitch round this and do we want any stamping? Maybe we do. Because I'm loving these this new stamp set. Let's see. Something again along here. What about that? Serial number. Wondering if we could just catch the corner there with a stamp. Catch that corner. Maybe that round one again. But then it would be the same as that. I don't want it to be the same. Maybe just these, this little tiny one here. This is what's great about this set. All these little tiny ones. Right, I want it to just want to stuff it on there. like that. Okay, let's have a little tidy up and see how we're doing. Right, we've got to go and stitch around us. So, let's go do that just now. Okay, so that's the kind of eclectic one done. A little bit annoying because the sewing machine caught the vellum a little bit there and it ripped. But, you know, them's the breaks. And it's now a little shabby chic instead of just chic. <laughs> 
So again, I do like how the labels will just sit in there nicely or any little bits that you've got. I'm just using all these labels as a wee example, but you can see how it all it all works nicely. So there we are. We've got three set a wee set of three vellum pockets. Um, this one probably won't put this one in the journal because of that little um, little tear there, but I'll keep it for one of mine and that will be nice. So yeah. Oh it goes nice on that page. The green picks up that limey green there. Yeah, I think it will uh yeah. Anyway, that's me. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, a thumbs up would be great and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.